EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. From Hilton Head Island and Harbortown Golf Links, it's third round coverage of the Hilton Head Invitational. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. This could be a good one. Uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Ten foot putt left. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And she'll move to an even 20 under par. Here's a chance to make a birdie early in the round. Second hole at Harbor Town is a relatively short par five at a little more than 500 yards. Again, the key, and this is the case all over the golf course. You have to put your tee shot in the right spot, and here it is on that left side of the fairway. That one going to be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. so well you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green landed so softly oh yeah it is a dream beginning to the round a birdie at one now an eagle here at the second how about three under through two holes and just getting started this third hole at 469 yards is pure harbor town it's narrow the emphasis here is on hit your tee shot in play and a par is a good score, I promise you. And this has started a little to her left. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 139, the number to the flagstick today. Ball sitting down a little bit in the rough, but nothing too dangerous. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, going, going, gone, goodbye. <laughs> Nicely done. It is a far here at the third. And she'll remain at 22 under. 200 yard par three fourth offering a classic Pete Dye risk reward design. You have to carry the water hazard running the length of the hole. Better to miss right than short or long where a thirsty lagoon lurks. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. This is a 23-foot putt. Now the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And she'll move to 23 under par. The fifth hole at Harbor Town is the second of the three par fives at 549 yards. A good drive should leave players with the chance to try and reach this green in two. But one larger and one smaller bunker protect the left side of the deep but narrow green. Yeah, nothing. 
nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five, Frank got everything out of that yeah it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway and now a fairly straightforward third shot two good shots on this par five leaves that simple little chip and that was beautifully played yeah that's good putt. a birdie here at one her score will move to 24 under par. Onward now to the 419 yard par 46. Dog leg right. Best to aim the tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker on the right. Land there and the green is very accessible and a birdie might be in the offing. This round's been a clinic so far, and it's another great drive, and another good opportunity to make another birdie. This one has a chance to be close. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Chance now for another birdie. You betcha. What a roll there. That is in for a birdie. And she'll move to 25 under now. On to the seventh at 195 yards. This one of the tougher par threes on the course. The water shouldn't be a big issue. More pressing, those two giant trees that serve like sentries at the front of the green. Any ball that gets hung up in there could very likely come down in that bunker that encircles about 90% of the green. Okay, safely aboard. Here we go. This one for birdie. It is in for a birdie. And that will move her to 26 under par. Now to the hole many consider the most difficult of all here at Harbor Town, the par 4 8th. Finding the fairway is an absolute must off the tee as you will need to have the right angle of attack to approach this long, narrow green. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green, and that is a bit of a surprise birdie. One thing you don't see too often on the PGA Tour, 332-yard par fours, but that's what we've got here on the closing hole to this front side. Before you think about knocking this on, though, take note of the large bunker that completely protects the front of the green.
Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. this for another birdie. Not much more than a tough end there. It is a birdie at the ninth. And that is going to mean this was a 27 on the front side and an amazing nine under par. The back nine starts here at the 451 yard par 410. This hole offers one of the few real wide landing zones to take aim at. However, Beware of the lagoon left. If you can find the short grass, birdie is very much in play. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. An outside look here for Birdie. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. So that's in for par to start this backside. Her score will hold at 28 under. The 11th hole now at 436 yards. One thing you'll notice about this fairway, the further up you get, the narrower it becomes. So some would say three wood, not the worst of ideas here. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This from about 10 feet. Okay, that ball on there. All the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And that is going to move her to a tidy 29 under par. On to the 12th now at 430 yards. We've had a handful of right to lefters so far. This one's going to work the other way. As we've mentioned before, accuracy is the key off the tee, as some of those pine trees can reach out and grab you if your tee shot's not where it needs to be. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Looking at 111 yards to the front, 117 to the hole. Player has to contend with this left to right breeze. That's a sand wedge, and it's right at it. An absolute laser straight at it, and it so easily could have gone in. Uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside, and that's going to take her to an even 30 under par. So many visually arresting holes here at Harbortown. This might be the best of the bunch. The 373-yard par 4 13th. Architect Pete Dye created some of the best work that golf has ever seen. But credit to the design on this hole, as well as the 17th at TPC Sawgrass, to his wife, Alice, who drew up this design. How's this? On a napkin.
Uh, that's good technique. And that is right around five feet. Not too bad. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And that's going to get her to 31 under par. On to the 14th now. This one almost a mirror image of number four. It's a par three at 192 yards. At four, the danger was water left. Here, it's on the right with a generous bailout area left of the green. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. A long one coming up here for birdie. Oh man, the speed was spot on. A good putt, but nothing to show for it. Oh, she's there. It is a par here at 14. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Now to the lone par five on this backside, the longest hole on the course, the 588-yard par five 15. This one is a toughie, featuring a narrow landing area off the tee with bunkers on both sides, as well as a somewhat blind second shot requiring a pretty good right-to-left angle of attack. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Chance now for another birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And with it, she'll move to 32 under par. The final three-hole stretch begins here at the 434-yard par 416. It's a dogleg left with an expanse of sand running along much of the entire left side of the hole. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Nope. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And she'll stay right where she is well under par two holes remain as we come to the par 3 17th at 174 yards you'll want to aim right of that one lone tree in the distance almost like what you see on the south carolina state flag and be sure to steer clear of the bunkers here because making par from there not a sure thing
This one's looking good. Yeah, very good shot. Taking it in right of the hole. And good look upcoming. Yes, the speed spot on. It's a late birdie here at 17. And that's going to take her score to 33 under par. The 18th hole, one of the real signature holes on the PGA Tour. It's a par four at 472 yards. Sort of a visually awkward landing area. You want to make sure you don't hit it through the fairway and into the hazard. But a good drive sets up a gorgeous finish, taking dead aim at that beacon of a lighthouse. Now a second from 173. shot of the day and it is one of the best we've seen here at the closing hole now this for another birdie okay birdie at the last it is a birdie birdie finish and that will mean that this is a round of get this 56 so a final look at the leaderboard and this has just been a runaway so far our featured golfer miles in front with 18 left to play. I'm still scratching my head trying to find the difference between, you know, a featured player and the rest of the field, but it's just better off the tee, better approach shots, better putting, uh, different league. So that should just about do it for all of us at EA Sports. Thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters.